Ever pondered on the environmental impact of aviation? How does the roar of an airplane engine as it ascends into the sky impact the world beneath it? Well, the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, has spent a considerable amount of time thinking about this. They've compiled their findings into what's known as Annex 16, a set of standards and recommended practices related to environmental protection in aviation. Diving into Volume 1 of Annex 16, the focus here is on aircraft noise. It's a primary concern, especially for those living in the vicinity of airports. The objective? To mitigate the adverse effects of this noise on local communities. This volume establishes noise certification standards, setting maximum permissible noise levels for various aircraft types during different phases of flight. It also provides guidance on implementing operating restrictions to minimize aircraft noise impact. Think along the lines of curfews or noise abatement procedures. Another key component is land use planning around airports to mitigate noise impacts. This could involve zoning regulations, building codes, or other measures to prevent incompatible land use near airports. And to ensure that these standards are kept, noise monitoring systems are recommended to assess aircraft noise levels and compliance with noise standards. Lastly, this volume encourages the development and implementation of noise abatement procedures. It could be preferential runway use or noise-sensitive routing designed to minimize noise exposure in affected areas. Volume 1 of Annex 16 is instrumental in addressing the environmental concerns associated with aircraft noise. It promotes sustainable aviation practices and fosters cooperation between aviation stakeholders and communities affected by aircraft noise. Shifting gears to Volume 2 of Annex 16, the spotlight is on aircraft engine emissions. The goal here is to control and reduce emissions from aircraft engines to minimize their impact on air quality and the environment. This volume sets emission standards for various pollutants emitted by aircraft engines including oxides of nitrogen, carbon monoxide, unburned hydrocarbons, and particulate matter. It's all about limiting the environmental impact of these emissions. Volume 2 also outlines procedures for certifying aircraft engines to ensure compliance with emission standards. Manufacturers must demonstrate that their engines meet the specified emission limits under various operating conditions. The Annex also encourages the development and adoption of alternative fuels and emission-reducing technologies. These could be biofuels, hydrogen fuel cells, or improvements in engine design and efficiency. Finally, it emphasizes the importance of engine testing and monitoring programs. These programs can assess emissions performance throughout an engine's life cycle, identifying opportunities for emission reductions and ensuring ongoing compliance with regulatory requirements. In essence, Volume 2 of Annex 16 plays a crucial role in addressing the environmental challenges associated with aircraft engine emissions. It promotes the adoption of cleaner technologies and fosters sustainable aviation practices. In conclusion, Annex 16, with its two volumes, provides a comprehensive framework for managing the environmental impact of aviation. It's all about striking the right balance between the need for air travel and the need to protect our planet.